always fun to present a new group of athletes on Wide World of Sports, and that's what's happening here today at the 6th Annual World Frisbee Disc Championships from the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. There's competition in something called guts, aptly named, and the flying saucer comes at you at 75 miles per hour. And try to catch it. Then there's ultimate frisbee, a running and passing game, something resembling the field position teamwork of soccer, football, or basketball. Also, there's the catch and fetch, with man's best friend as his partner, although the effort is just a bit one-sided. Guess who does all the work? And finally, we'll see the artistry and technique of the world's best freestylers. Yes, the little old plastic platter of 20 years ago, played in the backyard and beach by kids and grown-ups alike, is now just as competitive as anything else in the wide world of sports. This is the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California the famous setting for so many professional and college football championship games. It's almost unbelievable that a crowd of spectators would gather here to watch an athletic contest which doesn't involve 22 men and a pigskin ball. fans won't be watching the USC Trojans or Ohio State or the Steelers and the Rams or whomever down there on the field. Rather, about 40,000 people have gathered for quite a different championship contest. We bet you've played this game at least a few times yourself. modern age of complexity, the frisbee disc seems almost out of place. How utterly simple, a plastic saucer. However, it's just that type of simplicity which opens up the possibilities. The frisbee can be tossed about and caught in an incredible number of ways and fly around in a wide range of trajectories. Unlike a ball, which simply falls to the ground when released, the frisbee disc possesses aerodynamical lift qualities, which makes it respond in amazing ways, depending on the creative skills and techniques of the individual player. The possibilities are endless. Championships, and you're really going to see something. Team competition, we're going to see trick events, we're going to see dogs chasing frisbees. I'll tell you, this is some event. The best in the world are here. two-legged human variety, but we have some familiar four-legged creatures participating in the competition. You won't talk to me, Alex. You want to talk to you? Yes, you will. Ask you want to speak? <laughs> speak, Alex. <laughs> Alex Stein, you're the owner. How did you train Ashley? Well, I fed him water and his dog food, obviously, out of a Frisbee, and then I played uh, Keep Away and Tug of War, and uh, he just kind of picked it up natural, but it took a about six months for me to perfect it and him to perfect it and he has jumped uh, upwards to nine feet in the air and he's caught a frisbee 106 yards. So Ashley will be in there catching the disc today in the Rose Bowl.
Hollywood has this little subtleties, particularly when they come to equipment. When we think of Frisbee discs, usually we think of one model, and this happens to be the standard one. But here in competition, we have about 12 different types of models, all really for kind of a different purpose. As I said, this is the standard. It's used really in what they call guts, when two teams stand 15 meters apart, and they throw this thing over 90 miles an hour. <laughs> And this one is really kind of when you throw it up in the air and then it comes back. And it's got a little rise here so that when it floats back down, it comes back down to you. It's a little bit more forgiving. I'll kind of keep that one right out there. I'm getting pretty good at this. This is the biggest one. This one is really kind of used for freestyle. It's, it's more forgiving. It stays up in the air longer. And you're going to see some great tricks really done with this particular one. And you know, for you kids back home, when your mother won't let you play in the living room, or if you want to play in the office, we have this little one right here. How about that one? The name of the game is Guts, and it's not hard to see why. Two opposing teams line up 14 meters apart, and the disc is thrown at speeds that reach 75 miles per hour. This is an exhibition game between all-stars from the East and West. The rules are that the disc must be thrown from behind the line. If the opposing team misses the catch, the throwers make a point. However, if the throw is overhead, the receivers get the point. Catches have to be made cleanly in one hand, but the team must work together, tipping or deflecting the shot before the catch. A thumb shot gives the disc opposite spin and a dipping curve just before the receiving line. Here's a power backhand delivery. The full turn of the upper body and the whipping motion of the arm and wrist produces the speed. different team game is ultimate. The playing field is 60 by 40 yards with 30 yard end zones. The teams move the disc from play to player only by throwing. No running with possession. The Eastern All-Stars in orange jerseys, the Western team in blue. Defense is much like basketball. The defenders trying to block or intercept the throws. The offense tries to fake the defenders, showing them both backhand and sidearm throws. Here's an offensive thrust by the East into a crowded end zone. A great second effort saves it for a goal. Each ultimate player needs to be both a quarterback and a receiver to produce a balanced team attack. Ready to go on defense immediately. There's a turnover. The East is on the move again. And an easy score with the West caught out of position. There's a lot of strategy in the game, but the fundamentals of throwing, running, and catching are critical. Constant control of the disc is difficult, and catching is an art in itself. So that's the game of ultimate in this demonstration by the Frisbee Disc All-Stars.